what is an AMH level? Basically, when a woman comes to you, one of the questions she has is, what's my fertility time frame? Now, we have this measurement which we started doing maybe like maybe 15 years ago when this test became available called the AMH or the anti-mullerian hormone. Now, the anti-mullerian hormone basically is an assessment of ovarian reserve. We talked about how many oocytes. oocytes you have at the start, how many oocytes you have at puberty, and then you keep using your oocytes up till you reach the menopause. AMH basically signifies your ovarian reserve and it's complemented by one or two other tests. One test is called an antral follicle count. It's an ultrasound which you do very early in your menstrual cycle. It gives you a fairly good idea of ovarian function and it correlates with the AMH. So we now have two tests to tell us what the fertility reserve is. It's called the antral follicle count. It basically looks at the follicles when they first come up early in the cycle. But you have to put these two in context because too much panic is created when these tests are done. I would add one more test to this and this is particularly for a woman who's in her late 30s or in her 40s. And that is a test to assess maybe what her time to menopause is likely to be. Uh, part of it is suggested by a mother's history because that correlates pretty well and part of it is done by this test called FSH which is a hormone secreted by the pituitary gland and which controls the ovaries and if the FSH is high it tells you ovarian function has started depleting. So there, there are these three tests, AMH, antral follicle count and in the older woman the FSH. Now we we're seeing all kinds of AMHs. I'm seeing low AMHs in younger women today. And I'm seeing decent AMHs in slightly older women. So for each woman, it's different.